the last seven years, we have performed in 32 cities, in 19 countries, to 2.2 million people. And the extraordinary thing is that in all of that time, in all of those places, nothing has ever gone wrong. Well, I mean, not nothing. I give you the Le Mans winning Audi car. <gasps> Audi had said, yes, you can have for your show a Le Mans winning car, the value of which is, I have no it's idea. A, well, it's priceless, a one Le Mans, priceless. yeah, priceless. Priceless. Mm, yeah. yeah. and they, oh, wow, we must display this for our audience to see. And it was put on a sort of platform thing and hoisted up on chain, so it was up there in, in the sky, right up above the stage. And all of a sudden, everybody started running about, didn't they? Millions of... Yeah, of with serious six, faces. Very yeah, serious. Very sudden burst of activity. One of us stuck our head around the curtains and looked up, and one of the chains had broken support in the Audi and the whole thing was... It, it was upside down, yeah. swinging. It and was what hanging. we were particularly enjoying was whoever was going to make the call, how they were going to call Audi and say, yeah, we've, we've wrecked your car. What did you do? Crash it. No, we dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk about half a Saab? Of course. We had a Saab that would come out as part of an elaborate routine involving Swampy the Monster, and the Saab was designed to break in half when it was hit by a rocket, but obviously it's a stunt, it's a pyrotechnic, it has explosives around a joint and it breaks in half, but unfortunately it broke in half backstage. <laughs> so just the front half of a front-wheel drive Saab drove onto the stage and parked. Yes. The monster to which James <laughs> refers Swampy. rose from the tanker and was, oh, it's terribly scary. And in one of the shows, the monster's arm fell off, but the man who was operating it using a stick um, just carried on regardless. So for some reason, everyone in the audience was treated to the rather unedifying spectacle of a monster yeah. that was unconvincing at the best of times, with a man standing next to it with a stick doing this as though its arm was still attached. <laughs> We've often said, though, as we've been doing things and things have been difficult and going wrong, well, at least we're not doing panto. But then again... <laughs> <laughs> the rhubarb and custard convertible gee wears with me dressed as a soldier. No, so we're hopeless, but um, we've done it, we've managed it. We are looking forward to... Because it has been an enormous laugh all around the world and virtually wiped ourselves out. And we're looking forward to finishing off in London town. 32 cities, 19 countries, this is the last day. So all of the equipment will never be used again. So the uh, modicum of care that we used in the past, you can imagine, will be gone. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have to get to work on our Amazon show as soon as it's all over, which will keep us busy on the television. So we'll see you then. Thanks very much for listening to us.